Okay guys, so continue pa rin tayo sa soil permeability. So this time is meron tayong a confined aquifer. So man, uh, has a source of recharge as as shown in the figure. Okay. So the hydraulic conductivity of the uh, aquifer is 4 meter per day and its porosity is 0.25. So the piezometric head in the two wells is 1200 meter apart. Uh, bismetric head uh, in the two wheels which is 1200 meter apart is 65 meter and 60 meter respectively from the common data so yung average thickness ng uh, aquifer natin is 25 meter tsaka yung average width nung, yan, nung aquifer pa rin natin is 4 kilometer so ano yung rate of flow through the aquifer aquifer in cubic meter per day sige so parang ganito yung mitsura so meron tayo ditong uh, aquifer natin so meron tayong dalawang observation wells so yung nilagay natin yung piezometer uh, dito at this point so umakyat yung water at elevation 65 so nung nilagay tayo ng piezometer pa rin dito at this point na? so umakyat yung tubig okay umakyat yung tubig at elevation 60 so, yung distance between two piezometer, yung piezometer na yan is 1,200 meter. So, yung thickness daw nito is uh, 25. So, yung average, ano daw nito? Uh, yung average niya. So, bali kung i-consider natin to. Ayan. Okay, so yung cedar natin yan, parang ganito yan. Ha? Ito daw yung 4, 4 km. Ito na lang, no? Kung cedar ko yan. So, meron tayong parang thickness nya. So, yung thickness nya, yun yung 25. Na? Yung 25, hindi yan yung width, no? Parang width sya, tignan eh. Pero hindi yan yung width ng, ano uh, ha? Uh, yung ano dito is thickness. Na? thickness nung aquifer natin is 25 then yung width nya average width is 4 km so kung ito yung magiging ano natin di ba kasi dire, dire, dito yung direction ng flow eh no? so ito yung area na gagamitin natin so ito yung area so yung area na yan that is 25 by 4000 meter Okay, so yan yung magiging area na i-consider natin. So, 25 by 4,000 meter. Okay, so I hope klaro ako dyan. Na? So, bali ngayon. Solution. So, mayroon na yung formula in solving for the flow rate that is area times velocity by Darcy Law. So, yung velocity is just K times nung I. Okay? So, yung area is okay na. Nakuha na natin yan. That is 25 by 4,000. So, this is meter. This is meter. So, we have square meter. Yung K that is given... Uh, saan yan? Mm, ito, ano? The hydraulic conductivity of the aquifer is 40 meter per day. So, yung K natin is 40 meter per day. So, yan na yung ilagay natin dito ngayon. So, therefore, we have 40 meter per day. So, yung gusto nyo yung value is cubic meter tsaka day, cubic meter per day. So, okay na ako dito. Na? So, okay na yung meter ka. Meter tsaka meter. So, cubic meter per day na yan. Diba? So, yung kulang na lang is yung value ng I. And yung I may kita natin yan dito. So, makukuha natin yung value ng H tsaka yung length which is 1,200. Okay. 
So, therefore, yung I natin is just H over L. So, yung H is just 65 minus 60 all over 1,200. Ayan, no? So, substitute na lang natin yan. So, therefore, we will have um, 65 minus 60 all over 1,200. Okay. So, I think, klaro na to. So, solve yung problem. So, therefore, this is equal to, kapitin ko muna, uh, 25 times 4,000, okay, and then uh, 40, and then uh, we have 65 minus 60 all over 1,200. So, therefore, this is equal to, 1, 6, 6, 4, 6, 6, 7 na lang yan, no? kasi 0.6 eh. So, 1, 6, 6, 6, 7 cubic meter per day. So, yun na, no? So, box na natin to. Box na natin to. Okay ba? So, I hope klara yan, no? So, yan na yung sagot. Okay. So what if uh ganito? So what if uh tatanungin ka what is the value of the seepage velocity? Okay? So kaya nating i-solve 'yan kasi sa problem given yung porosity. Okay? So since given yung porosity, pwede nating gamitin yung formula na V theoretical value of theoretical velocity divided by the porosity. And diba ito yung V? Yung V natin is yan yung KI na? By Darcy Law So yun na, substitute na natin So we have 40 meter per day Times 65 minus 60 All over 1,200 All over the porosity which is 0.25 We have 0.25 So thus We can have now the value of 40 times uh, we have 65 minus 60 all over 1,200 and then divided by uh, 0.25 so that is two thirds so 0.6 so meter then naka day ito na eh. meter per day okay ito so meter per day so box na natin yan kasi yan na yung sagot okay okay so so what if tatanungin tayo so ano naman yung uh, what if ganito yung tanong ulit so same problem So, calculate the time of travel from the head of the aquifer. So, aquifer. Okay. To a point. thirty kilometer downstream. in days so what if ganyan yan so calculate the time of travel from the head of aquifer to the point 3.3 km downstream so so bali parang ganito yan so from dito hanggang hanggang 3.3 km so ano do yung time na i-travel nya okay so Ganito lang, no? So, distance equals velocity times the time. So, since uh, we are considering the actual, so, this must be the actual 
velocity. So the problem is what is the value of time? Okay, yung time. So yung distance is 3 kilometers, so that is 3,300 3, meters. And yung actual velocity is we have 0 0.6 meter per day. Okay. So yung time is masolve na natin. And that is just equal to. So 3300 divided by 0 0.6. Therefore, this is equal to 5,500 days okay yun no? okay okay na yun no? so ito lang so continue na lang tayo sa next na videos thank you